We're not going to talk about the fact that I'm filming this on my phone because I'm stressed about my camera because it didn't turn on this morning and I can't find the charger and so I just it's one of those things where if you avoid it it's just not real so so today I am doing my oh this is a very intimate little cute little I don't want to say the word position we <laughs> we got going on here but today we're doing my dune faves and i remember last month when i was doing my may favorites that i was like oh i'm really excited to see what my favorites next month will be because i'm away for the whole month i'm home now um but i'm away for the whole month and i just want to see like what inspires me and honestly i knew it i knew it because i tell me why i had the best ever media of the month for, especially for movies and music oh mm, mm, scrumptious i'm gonna start with shows if you're new here then i do basically my faves of the month but it's basically just media of the month so i do shows movies books and songs that i'm like obsessed with so first of all we're gonna go with shows because i only have one technically i have two but anyways so i finished but i mean i started it too i started and finished uh season 13 of bob's burgers and then re-watched all the other seasons because i'm it's my favorite show on the planet it's just brilliant so that's that was like the main show um te there's also technically a third and the reason i say technically is because we didn't really watch it like binge it or like watch it in series like episodes it was more like it was just on and we would catch it when we were home so me and my best friend formed an obsession with shark tank and then as well as that i've also watched half of the new season of succession i still need to finish that but it was really fucking good so i'm looking forward to finishing it it's apparently very good next i will go through books there are two here she Comes First by Ian Kerner, I think his name is. Ugh, brilliant book. Every single man on this planet needs to read it. It is basically just about female pleasure and the right way to do it. And even reading it made me hot and bothered. And just like, you I, you just need to give it to any man that you want to sleep with or you're with. You just need to give it to him. It's fucking brilliant. It's so true then the roommate by rosie donan i think her name is i keep forgetting their names this ironically i I just look like a horn dog right now but this is about um a girl that moves in with a porn star they kind of like have to move in together they're in like one of those situations and it's such a good book i didn't expect it at all to be good or like to enjoy it the way that i enjoyed it um but I really, really did love it. It was so fun. Um, I just like that it was written well. They had personality. The story itself was fun. It was new, something I've never read before. So I really liked it. Then I'm going to go into music. So we have Nothing Matters by The Last Dinner Party, which is my favorite song of all time. I think in my life, it is just the most brilliant song ever. Open Up White by Dizzy. I've been a fan of Dizzy for a very long time. This is a banger. Ghost Down by First Aid Kit. Again, this is a classic by First Aid Kit, who is my favorite duo. Daylight by David Kushner. I think this has gone viral on TikTok, but it's a very good song. The Man by The Killers. Again, a very well-known big song by a big band. Chrysalis by Empire of the Sun. Empire of the Sun is one of my favorite bands ever. Um, I grew up listening to Empire of the Sun, so this is a big fat slay for me love this song and then i fucked your mum by sorry mum i just it's so brilliant and hopefully um an interview with sorry mum will be coming out soon so i'm looking forward to that finally on to movies um i'm so proud of myself for this month i did so well with movies um so first of all uh after sun so sad but so good um close which is a foreign film it is 
one of my favorite films ever now it is stunning it is the most beautiful film ever so sad again all of the i think like on the way like i watched most of these on the plane either there or back uh to la and i think on the way there i had a thing for crying and then on the way back i had a thing for like feminism you'll see what i mean but anyways one of my new it's one of my new favorite films ever then marcel the shell with shoes on this is my favorite film ever as well it's just fucking brilliant oh it just it put me in such a good mood it just my heart just oh my god i loved it then um whilst i was in la i watched the woman king and that was just a movie about a powerhouse bunch of women and it was fucking brilliant literally nothing else i can say just so good then the whale brendan fraser what an actor it's so so good then i watched tar on and i've known this for a very long time but kate blanchett is an actress that woman oh my god like she convinced me to hate her and i love her so it was such a good film also like when i saw that it was like two hours and a half i was like mm, can't be fucked but when you watch it it really doesn't feel like it's two hours and a half like and every moment is necessary if that makes sense so yeah then i watched um to leslie which had all this like ruckus around it during the oscars and I still don't know what that was all about really but it was so good it was so good it was so so good and i just i loved it the acting was good the story was good there was a sense of like genuine realism and frustration in it and the yeah the acting was was it was very 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 good i really liked really really liked it finally I watched Women Talking. I have seen this advertised everywhere in London for over a month and it was on the plane and I was like, I just gotta watch this. I feel like I had watched other ones like on the plane like she said and everything and I just felt like I was going in a really like feminist direction with like all the movies I was watching. I was like, I may as well watch Women Talking. So I put it on and it was like, so, it was so not what I thought it was gonna be. I don't even know what I thought it was gonna be. But it was so much better than what I thought it was going to be. This was why I love going into movies having zero expectations. And the, first of all, an outstanding cast. Genuinely one of the best casts ever. The story in itself is so relevant to today. And it feels so dystopian that you realise it's actually not that long ago that this is set. And... The acting is incredible, the story is heartbreaking, but also incredible. And you still have that sense of relief despite the heartbreak throughout the film at the end. And yeah, I just think it's, it, I, it is one of the most beautiful films ever, in my opinion. And I know that like, correct me if I'm wrong, but the director or writer was an actress and she won the Oscar for actor turned director i think like i don't know something along those lines <laughs> um but yeah it was just the movies i've watched this month have been incredible and i want to stay on this fucking grind because i've been watching the worst fucking movies all year so far and from now on i'm only going to be watching good ones um i know this was really short um, and also this is a bit of an intimate little convo we're having right now. <laughs> but if you watch this, thank you. I will, I will, I will, I will get my camera back up and running. Otherwise I will kill myself. <laughs> I genuinely will. Um, but I love you guys so much and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. <laughs>